Uh, my name is Imad Adli. I am uh, representing the Arab Network for Environment and Development, known as RAID. Uh, RAID is a network of civil society organizations in North Africa and West Asia and has members of our uh, uh, CSOs, members of uh, about uh, uh, 300 organizations from uh, the Arab countries in North Africa and West Asia. First of all, uh, we, will, we wanted to get the use of having the COP on African land to be, um, and it was also the African COP, uh, to get uh, and achieve and deal all with many of the challenges that in Africa we face with uh, or we deal with. Um, we are glad that at some point there were some positive results, especially when it comes to loss and, loss and damage issue. Um, uh, the engagement of civil society in the COP uh, in Sharm Sheikh was uh, higher than any other uh, COP before. Uh, the, uh, also, the capacity of the civil society and the space and the, um, uh, the time given to um, uh, uh, different side events for the civil society from Africa uh, uh, was really uh, amazing and was really uh, making a record if we compare it with other uh, uh, cops before. But, in, but of course, uh, as it was supposed to be the implementation, uh, the cop for implementation, uh, we, we feel like, you know, we were able to, to do some uh, uh, progress, but still a long way to go. And this is why in Raid, in my organization, we always think about the two cops together, the Shami Sheikh and uh, Dubai, that the, the whatever what uh, was taken by the COP in Sham Sheikh, then we are still thinking and we believe that we can achieve more in uh, in in Dubai uh, 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 in the coming uh, COP28. The agroecology uh, movement in Egypt is going on uh, s since long time because we have been talking about uh, uh, food sovereignty and food security, self sufficient uh, food self sufficiency. Um, and it's a challenge not only for Egyptians but for the Arab world, including, of course, the old North African countries. Um, uh, what I can see uh, from uh, the role that AFSA is doing and the cooperation that we are doing with AFSA as Raid and as civil society from North Africa, uh, this will serve more the needs of our farmers, of our target groups, of our uh, vulnerable communities, those who really need to understand how it is important for their livelihoods, for their uh, development, for their next generations, how agroecology is important for, for them and for their country. So it's very, it's very important and it's very much needed and it's our, in our list of priorities as uh, uh, RAID, as our NGO and also as uh, in uh, our cooperation with AFSA. Thank you so much. What's my next question? <laughs>